Hi guys, it's Becky at Babes in Hairland. I'm back today with another beautiful French braided hairstyle. Um, but in case you missed our video last week, my 15 year old shared a quick and easy hairstyle as well as her name, I think. So go back and watch that if you missed it. So for today's hairstyle, you're going to be parting the hair from the left to the right ear across the crown here. And then I have created an off-center part on the right. And with all the hair in the back, I just made a regular French braid and secured the end with an elastic. And then over here on the left side, I prepped her hair with some water. Then make a part that runs parallel to that off-center part. So it's almost right center in the uh, middle of the head here. And in this narrow little rectangular section, you're going to be making a regular French braid. So divide the hair into three sections, and then add hair to both sides. Keep this really nice and tight to the scalp, which means your hands need to be close to the head. Um, you can totally do this as a Dutch braid, where you pass the hair underneath to make it sit on top of the head, but I just was doing a regular French braid. And then once you reach here at the forehead and don't have hair to add from this narrow rectangular section, you're going to move to the rest of the hair over here on the side of the head. So your French braid is going to be winding down along um, the face, the hairline along the face. So it's almost going to be making kind of an L shape with that French braid once um, you continue down the side of the face. So once you reach the ear and you can't add any more hair, you're going to simply create, just continue braiding regularly all the way down to the ends and secure the end of that with an elastic. So now you've got this French braid that comes from the crown forward and then wraps back around. And you're going to set that to the side uh, temporarily for the time being. Then over here on the right side, you're going to do the same thing, make another little rectangular section of hair to make another French braid working way towards the forehead. And again, once you don't have hair to add any longer, work your way down the side of the face here on the right side. a regular braid when you can no longer add any more hair. So again, when you reach the end, secure it with an elastic. And here's what you've got at this point, the two French braids coming to the back. So now you're going to take the ends of these braids, you're going to pass the left one over and then under the right one so it's like you're starting a half knot when you tie your shoe. You're going to want to keep that nice and tight and it should just be there at the top of the French braid in the back. And then with a few bobby pins you're going to secure these braids so that they stay tight and uh, knotted like you got it pulled here. And then pass the left one up and over again the right one to create another knot. And then I'm going to kind of flip them upwards and make another knot, another half knot. And that is about all I can do with her length of hair for this. So I'm going to secure it with a few bobby pins and then just tuck those ends up, wrap them around, and hide those tails and elastics under everything. So that's all there is to this beautiful hairstyle. And here's a look at the finished product. So please comment and let us know what you think. Um, we did this one actually months back for a fall day that was extremely windy. 
but she wanted her hair up for a hot summer day so we repeated it and filmed this a tutorial for you today so let us know what you think and don't forget to go back and watch my daughter's video from last week which I've linked here and we will see you next time thanks and don't forget to subscribe bye bye